What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video. My name is of course Paul. Now, this is just going to be a quick unboxing video because I've only just picked the device up as it's only, it came out a week ago and it's been so hard to get hold of. But this is obviously a retail version, not a press version. This is mine. I've had to make a small incision in the top here because I haven't got my unboxing knife with me. And of course, I'm actually using my iPhone to record this as I haven't got the camera with me. So, let's just jump in. Let's get it unboxed and let's take a, uh, my first look anyway at the Galaxy S10 Plus. I haven't seen one yet, like up close and held it. And I haven't seen, I haven't played with one just yet. So, let's just take this off and let's get in. I don't think the incision was big enough. Okay. BXR key to the rescue. So with all the press versions being the prism white, and I haven't seen one of these yet on a video or nothing like that, I decided to go for prism, prism black. So let's, so I haven't got the unboxing knife with me. I'm gonna have to use these. And there we go. So there's something at the top. So let's just take the phone out for now. So there's the Galaxy S10 Plus in Prism Black. Well, some phone will take that off together later. It looks like it's got a screen protector on the front. It's got an already pre-fitted screen protector. And obviously it's not tempered glass like what I'd normally get, but yeah, that'll do. Let's switch it on. Hopefully it's got some power. Yeah, it's got some power, so that's good. Let's just place that to one side. And by the looks of it, there was something in the top of the box. Yeah, there we go. It's a bit of a strange thing to have at the top end of the box, but I guess it's just all your leaflets and stuff, and of course, your SIM ejection tool. So there's that. Then you've got the black power brick. Still got the regular USB to charge it as well as USB-C on the bottom of the phone. I wish they would have put USB-C here. Uh, that would have been nice, but never mind. Let's have a look how you get your little USB dongle so you can plug USB stuff into it. We're gonna do a video on that coming soon. Let's see, you've got your USB-C wire to charge it, that goes into that, and then you've got your AKG in-ear headphones. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm gonna be able to get the Samsung earbuds. We're gonna do a comparison video between that and, of course, the AirPods, which I absolutely love. I absolutely love my AirPods to bits, but we'll see. So let's just place that in there. I'm not gonna put my SIM in this just yet. I'm actually gonna go through the setup. So, let's go. Insert SIM card to access network services, of course, but my current SIM that's going to go in this is currently in the Pixel 3 XL. So, I probably will take it out and use this over the next week or so. Then I'll probably do, a, you know, my week with the Galaxy S10 to show you, like, battery life performance and all kinds of other stuff like that. But you got the three cameras on the back. I'm looking forward to testing out the wide-angle camera on this. You've got the Bixby button, which apparently can be remapped now. And then you've got on the bottom USB-C. By the looks of it, this is a... Well, it's got some sticky stuff all the way around. USB-C, speaker girl, and your headphone jack, which is still living on the Galaxy phones. And then on the top, just here, as you can see, you've got that dual camera. Well, you got the two, the hole punch notch at the top, which has got obviously your camera and your depth sensor inside there. But I'm looking forward to testing out this phone to see exactly what it's like. And then maybe, maybe compare it to the iPhone and obviously to the Pixel 3 XL. We'll do some comparisons. I'll test the camera out. If you want to see the camera test, head over to my Instagram and Twitter. That's where you're going to see it from this weekend as I'm heading out to the photography show. Let me know if you've picked one of these up, for you, up yourself. Let me know what phone you're still using, whether you're still using an iPhone or whether, you know, S9, etc. Or maybe Pixel. And then let me know in the comments down below. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I truly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry for the quality if it's not that great. It is in 4K, but it is from my phone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Take it easy, everyone. See you soon.